SpaceX Raptor 3 hasn't flown a mission, but Elon Musk has already stunned everyone with the reveal of Raptor 4. It's promised to be the lightest, sleekest, yet most powerful rocket engine that SpaceX will unleash this decade. With its new advanced design and technology, Raptor 4 will push the boundaries of space exploration, making interplanetary travel more feasible than ever before. So, what makes Raptor 4 a true breakthrough? Could it become the most powerful engine on the market? Let's dive in and find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX is pushing Starship forward at an incredible speed. The first version was fully built, stacked with Super Heavy, and launched during the very first integrated test flight, IFT-1, in April 2023. Remarkably, just six test flights later, version 2 was ready and took off in Flight 7 this past January. One thing's for sure, SpaceX is moving at lightning speed to conquer space. But here's the thing. A more advanced Starship requires more powerful engines. As SpaceX looks toward future missions with heavier payloads and longer flights, they need engines that can keep up. And that's exactly what they're doing. Currently, Starship version 2 uses the Raptor 2 engine, delivering 230 tons of thrust at sea level and 258 tons in vacuum. It's impressive, but not enough for the more ambitious Starship version 3. To meet the demands of this next level design, SpaceX introduced Raptor 3. Unveiled in August 2024, this more refined engine offers 21% more thrust than Raptor 2, both at sea level and in vacuum. The first flight using Raptor 3 for testing is expected later this year. According to SpaceX, the Raptor 3 engine can generate 280 tons of thrust. But if SpaceX makes the adjustments Elon Musk hinted at on X in January, the maximum thrust for Raptor 3 could go even higher. He said, it will be very difficult to get Raptor to 300 tons of thrust, but not impossible. The truth is, whenever he says something is difficult, he proves he can make it happen. It won't be long before Raptor 3 goes from 280 tons to 300 tons of thrust. But even though it's the most powerful engine SpaceX has built so far, it's just a stepping stone for Raptor 4, which promises an insane 330 tons of thrust to break all limits. Here's the thing, Raptor 4 hasn't been released yet. So where did this number come from? Well, even though SpaceX hasn't officially announced details about Raptor 4, Elon Musk has dropped some important hints about what this engine could be in the future. And if his vision comes true, this engine could completely redefine rocket technology. On April 7th last year, during a speech to the entire SpaceX team and engineers, Musk made a bold statement. I think ultimately we'll probably aim to get the booster engines over 330 tons of thrust. This ambitious statement suggests that SpaceX is relentlessly pursuing innovation and improving engine performance. Now, let's take a closer look and predict what Raptor 4 might look like. We don't have any images yet, but if history tells us anything, it's that every new Raptor gets cleaner and more refined. Remember how Raptor 1 had all those messy exposed fuel lines? By the time we got to Raptor 3, it was way more streamlined. So, there's no doubt Raptor 4 will take that even further, simpler, and more efficient. In terms of height, the difference between them is hard to notice with the naked eye. The three previously announced versions have nearly identical dimensions, with a length of around 10 feet and a diameter of 4 feet 3 inches. However, later versions have gradually become slightly shorter. Specifically, Raptor 2 stands between 9.8 and 10.2 feet tall, while Raptor 3 is a bit shorter, ranging from 9.5 to 9.8 feet. If this trend continues, Raptor 4 might be slightly more compact, but the change won't be very noticeable. Of course, it's not just the appearance and height. Raptor 4's weight is also expected to decrease significantly, while still delivering even greater thrust. The difference in weight between each version becomes most noticeable when comparing Raptor 2 and 3. While Raptor 2 weighs a hefty 4,365 pounds, Raptor 3 comes in at just 3,365 pounds. This significant reduction is thanks to SpaceX integrating regenerative cooling channels directly into the engine body and nozzle, rather than using separate cooling tubes like in Raptor 1 and partially in Raptor 2. This eliminated hundreds of kilograms of piping and related components, improving thermal efficiency. Additionally, SpaceX has adopted more advanced materials, such as improved stainless steel 
and leverage 3D printing techniques to enhance manufacturing. These changes allow the engines to withstand extreme conditions, with combustion chamber temperatures reaching 6,300 degrees Fahrenheit and pressures exceeding 400 bar, all while remaining lighter and more efficient. So, with Raptor 4, weight reduction is almost certain to be a priority. Given all the details I just shared, do you think Raptor 4 has the potential to become the most powerful engine in the world? Well, even if Raptor 4 is released, it would be the most powerful engine out there, though just one engine would still top it. That is, the Rocketdyne F1, an incredibly powerful engine developed in 1955. It was used in the Saturn V rocket, the iconic rocket that sent humans to the moon during the Apollo program. When it comes to thrust power, the difference is massive. An F1 engine delivers twice the thrust of a Raptor 4. Elon Musk claims his engine will reach 330 tons of force at sea level, which is already impressive compared to other engines. But here's the thing, even that doesn't compare to the F1's 680 tons of force at sea level and a jaw-dropping 777 tons of force in vacuum. The reason for this massive thrust is pretty simple. The F1 engine is much bigger and heavier than the Raptor. Standing 19 feet tall and with a diameter of up to 12 feet, this complex engine consumes a whopping 5,800 pounds of fuel every second. That's like burning through the entire fuel supply of a Boeing 747 in the blink of an eye. Besides its massive thrust and size, the F1 falls short when compared to the Raptor 4. Thanks to its compact design, the Raptor offers a huge advantage in weight savings for the launch vehicle. Weighing only about 3,300 pounds, it's five times lighter than the F1, which helps optimize weight for deep space missions. When it comes to specific impulse, the Raptor 4 is expected to push the limits, 350 seconds at sea level and 380 seconds in vacuum. This is thanks to its full flow stage combustion cycle and lightweight methane fuel, which make it far more efficient. In contrast, the F1 engine, the powerhouse of the Saturn V, only managed 263 seconds at sea level and 304 seconds in vacuum. Its gas generator cycle and heavier RP1 fuel simply couldn't match the efficiency of Raptor. This means that, pound for pound, Raptor extracts more thrust from every drop of fuel, cutting down on mass and maximizing payload, crucial for deep space missions like Artemis III. Assuming the Super Heavy booster alone has 33 Raptor IV engines, its total thrust would reach nearly 11,000 tons of force. In comparison, Saturn V had three stages, but its first stage only had five engines, delivering a total of just 3,400 tons of force. This means Starship's booster is far more powerful than Saturn V's, allowing it to lift much heavier payloads. So, if the F-1 ever sent the Saturn V to the moon, the Raptor on Starship would do it many times better. Behind the immense power of SpaceX's engine lies a revolutionary leap in design and engineering, innovations that push the boundaries of what's possible in rocket technology. The first thing to mention is that the Raptor 4 engine would use a full-flow stage combustion FFS-C cycle, which is a rare and highly complex design. Instead of burning fuel all at once like most engines, it splits the process into two steps. First, methane and liquid oxygen are fed into two small combustion chambers called pre-burners. One mixes more methane with less oxygen, and the other mixes more oxygen with less methane. The hot gases from these chambers are then pumped into the main combustion chamber, where they burn completely at extremely high pressure, up to 400 bar, making it way more powerful than most other engines. The result is that the Raptor engine uses all of its fuel, wasting nothing, delivering an incredible 2.9 million newtons of thrust, and a higher efficiency than older designs. Oh, and another thing that boosts efficiency is using methane as fuel. Compared to RP-1, methane leaves behind way less carbon buildup, so there's less chance of clogging in the FFSC cycle. Now, when it comes to improvements, one notable feature is the removal of external heat shields. This is achieved by integrating cooling circuits directly into the engine structure. These cooling circuits are embedded in key components like the combustion chamber, nozzle, and pre-burner, allowing the engine to withstand extreme temperatures without the need for separate heat shields, while also making the engine more compact. In addition, SpaceX has designed the next-generation Raptor with fewer bolts and joints, a significant improvement. 
the new design reduces the number of separate components that need to be connected. This is especially important for hot bolt joints, which endure extreme temperatures during engine operation. These joints are often weak points in rocket engines, vulnerable to thermal stress, leaks, and failure. By eliminating these joints, the engine becomes more powerful and reliable. Fewer connection points mean fewer potential failure modes and a lower risk of leaks or structural weaknesses. Another improvement is reducing the risk of fuel leaks. SpaceX may use higher strength materials such as titanium alloys or improved stainless steel for the fuel lines leading to the Raptor engines. They could also redesign the pipes with thicker walls or add reinforcement rings to reduce the likelihood of deformation under vibration. Alternatively, they might integrate active dampers or vibration-absorbing liners into the piping system to absorb oscillations. But in the end, all these improvements are really just about making the engines reusable more times. The main goal Elon Musk had when creating the Raptor engine was to make it super reusable, so Starship could launch multiple times a day. It's built with core tech like the stage combustion FFSC I mentioned earlier, using liquid methane and liquid oxygen. Methane burns super clean, with a carbon to hydrogen ratio of 1 to 4, which means it leaves almost no soot behind. This makes it way easier to reuse without needing much cleaning between launches, unlike the Merlin engine that uses kerosene and needs regular cleaning. The closed cycle keeps all the gases from the pre-burners inside the system, boosting pressure and getting over 99% efficiency while also preventing residue buildup, which helps protect the engine over many cycles. The integrated cooling system also reduces thermal wear. All these upgrades mean Raptor 4 could be reused up to 50 times, with plans to push that to 100, cutting costs, increasing launch frequency, and helping SpaceX take on future missions like using Starship as an orbital propellant depot for missions to the Moon and Mars. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.